today is all about being organized. If you're blind or vision impaired and you find it hard to write lists, you can do it all on your iPhone. You can use the calendar, set reminders, make shopping lists, do all those. It's all really easy. I'll show you how to do it in just a second. But first, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog. Hit that notification button and uh, smash the like button while you're there as well. It helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. So this is how easy it is to manage your life using Siri and VoiceOver on your iPhone. I was one of those people that used to make all sorts of lists, but now I can write a list, but I can't read a list unless it's written big enough so that it can be seen from space. So it's much easier for me to use the iPhone and I, I simply use Siri and VoiceOver to create calendar items, um, reminders, shopping lists, all those things. It's really easy. And I'm going to show you how to do it if you don't do it already. So to add something to my calendar, something as simple as a hairdressing appointment, I use the words add to calendar. So, hey Siri, add to my calendar on Tuesday at 10 a.m. hairdressing appointment. I scheduled your appointment for Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. The appointment is called hairdressing appointment. Really easy. Add to when I wanted it. And what the appointment was. You can add phone numbers and addresses and all sorts of things but keep it nice and simple to start off with. You might have seen me then just touch the screen with two fingers. I call it the shush gesture just to get voice over to, to be quiet when you wanted to be quiet. So to check that calendar item and make sure it's there. Hey Siri what's on my calendar for Tuesday? You have one appointment on Tuesday at 10 a.m. hairdressing appointment really easy. It's there, it's locked in, but be, me being me, <laughs> I probably need a reminder on Tuesday. So I'm going to set a reminder for eight o'clock on Tuesday morning. When I did the, the calendar, I said add to calendar. When I'm making a new reminder, it's create new. So, hey Siri, create a new reminder on Tuesday at 8 a.m. hairdressing appointment. I didn't find a reminders list. Do you want to create one? Yes. Okay, your reminder is set for Tuesday at eight o'clock. And that will remind me to just check my calendar and I know that I've got a hairdressing appointment that day. Really easy. If I want to do some shopping on that day maybe, let's make a shopping list. And the shopping list is set in reminders as well, so it's the same. I'm going to create a, a new shopping list. Hey Siri, create a new shopping list. Done. And what do you want to add to the list? Coffee. Okay, add it to your shopping list. I'm one of those people that thinks that salt, fat, sugar, caffeine and alcohol, the five main food groups. Fortunately for me, my wife Face tends on. to Double. disagree. And let's add some healthy stuff on there so I don't get into trouble. Hey Siri, add apples, bananas and milk to my shopping list. All right. I added those three things. If I want to check my shopping list, hey Siri, what's on my shopping list? There are four reminders on your shopping list. Coffee, apples, bananas, milk. So it was as easy as creating a new shopping list and then if I wanted to add something, add to shopping list. FaceTime, double tap to open, edit mode. And if I'm walking around doing my shopping, I can mark things off using Siri as well, simply by saying, Hey Siri, mark apples as completed on my shopping list. Okay, apples has been marked as complete. So now if I check my shopping list, Hey Siri, what's on my shopping list? There are three reminders on your shopping list. Coffee, bananas, milk. Now once I've done my shopping, if I want to delete that list, all I have to do is go into reminders. So. Hey Siri, open reminders. Reminders. I'm a voiceover user, I can't see the screen, so I'll touch the screen. I need to find my shopping list, so. Search, search field, all, four reminders. I, I know it's Double tap to view list. towards the bottom of the list somewhere. So I've touched on the screen, and now I'm swiping from left to right to go down the screen. My lists, heading, reminders, one reminder, blue. Double tap to view list. Shopping, three reminders, blue. Double tap to view list. Double tap and hold, then drag to reorder items. 
That's my shopping list. I can do all sorts of things, but what I really want to do is just delete the list. So I swipe down from the top of the screen with one finger. Delete. Yes, I want to delete, so double tap. Alert. Delete shopping. Yes, I want to delete, so I'm swiping from left to right through the options. This will delete all reminders in this list. Cancel. Button. Delete. Button. Yes, I want to delete, so double tap. Today. Zero reminders. Button. And my shopping list has been deleted. I've still got a hairdressing appointment set on my calendar. If I want to get rid of that, it's as easy as saying to Siri, Hey Siri, clear my calendar on Tuesday. You want to cancel your appointment, called hairdressing appointment, at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. Is that right? Yes. It's off your calendar. That's how easy it is to manage your life if you're blind or vision impaired. You don't need to be able to write lists. You don't need to be able to see the screen. You can simply use Siri on your iPhone, a little bit of voiceover to add things to your calendar, to take things off the calendar, to make reminders, shopping lists. You can do it all. It's really easy. If you got something from this video, smash that like button. We'd love it if you'd subscribe as well. Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog. Get the notifications, ring the bell, and then uh, you won't miss another video. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.